Hi, my name is Dylan Gunn. I'm the director of the Engineering Physics Project Lab, and I'm here today to share with you a bit of information about our program, Engineering Physics. So Engineering Physics is a fully accredited engineering program with an extra emphasis on math and physics for students who want to work at the cutting edge of science and technology. In terms of programs or options that are available, uh, we do allow our students to declare a specialization, for example, in electrical engineering or mechanical engineering by focusing their electives in those areas. Uh, but we also allow a lot of flexibility. So some of our students choose to take te technical electives in a wide range of areas. They could do an elective in radio astronomy and they could do an elective in biophysics. So they might choose to actually use their electives to, uh, to explore a range of options. Um, in terms of special requirements to entry, it is a highly sought after program. Every year we get about 180 applicants uh, for 60 spots. Uh, so we think it's really important to connect with every applicant to the program. And we do this by interviews in the spring. Usually these are in person, although with COVID for the past couple of years, we've been doing them online. Um, and these interviews are really important for us to get a better sense of what the students' interests are. And we're trying to assess, you know, are they a fit for the program, but also is the program a fit for them? We often talk to students and we realize mutually that they might actually enjoy mechanical engineering better than, than engineering physics. Uh, in terms of what you can expect uh, in your degree, uh, obviously a whole range of things. So um, engineering physics is really known for both its depth and its breadth. The depth comes from that extra training you get in the math and physics, physics to give you uh, the really strong analytical and scientific uh, skill set. Um, and that really leads to the breadth. So those strong technical skills allow you to work uh, in, in any discipline and really dig down into the fundamentals of any discipline, whether that's uh, quantum computing or biophysics or clean energy. Um, we also really emphasize community in EngPhys. We are a small program uh, and it is a very challenging program. So we really try to build connections between our students. We have a mentoring program where we connect senior students with junior students. Um, and we really think this is important to, to have a strong program and also uh, to you know, encourage students to work together and, and help each other get through uh, this challenging degree. Um, we also have a very uh, strong focus on hands-on and project-based learning. So it's a five-year program, which means you do your first year of, of engineering in common with, uh, with all engineering students, and then you do four years of engineering physics. Um, in second year, we have a, an intensive and immersive uh, robotics course and competition where you build a fully autonomous robot from scratch. So we give you access to a machine shop and laser cutter and water jet cutter, and you build all your circuits from scratch. Um, in third year, you do an applied machine learning course where you are learning uh, how to basically train uh, autonomous agents, do reinforcement learning um, to get these autonomous agents to navigate around sort of a simulated uh, uh, city in that, that bottom left image. And then in fourth and fifth year, we have two capstone courses, each of which is eight months long. So that's where you, uh, with a team, take on an open-ended research project. And that could be with uh, industry. It could be a, a local startup. Um, or it could be with researchers on campus, and again, in a hugely diverse range of areas. In terms of what you can expect from your student experience, um, uh, we have a strong presence in the engineering design teams. I'll just profile uh, this one, and then you can, you can pause the video and look at some of the others. Um, but Open Robotics was founded by Connor Shannon, who's a former student of ours. Um, and this is him with his capstone project, actually, Rosebot, and, uh, and he also founded Open Robotics. And he's now the chief robotics officer uh, at a company called Sanctuary.ai. They're a really interesting local uh, robotics company, so I'd encourage you to check them out if you're interested in, in robotics or artificial intelligence. And recently, that team was also led by uh, Kritika, who is also a student of ours. So, so our students have a, a strong presence on a huge range of student teams um, and have led and founded uh, founded many teams. Uh, so I'll skip through these, but feel free to pause the video and take a look if you like. Um, a lot of our students are also interested in, in research and uh, participating in research, and there's lots of ways to do that in InchFizz. One way is through the capstone project. So um, this top project here was uh, with the BC Cancer Agency, uh, and the bottom project was with uh, Triumph, which is Canada's National Particle Accelerator Lab located on the south end of the UBC campus. Um, and the top one uh, is really interesting to mention here because this actually resulted in uh, a peer-reviewed publication, so a journal article that the, the students authored along with, uh, with the, um, the sponsors of this project. 
Uh, students also get involved in research uh, through their, their co-ops because in EngPhys you get that really strong uh, mathematical and physical training. Uh, it really enables you to work in, in research in a, a wide range of areas. So that could be um, you know, ne neuroscience or clean energy or uh, robotics and control. So really just a wide range of things, lots of opportunities to get involved in research. Uh, in terms of the industry demand, it's very strong for engineering physics, and it's very strong across a wide range of uh, career options. So here are uh, logos of a few companies you'll recognize. We have lots of graduates working at all of these companies and, and many more, and it's across a very wide range of areas. And again, it's that fundamental training in the math and physics that allows you to really um, you know, play a role in, in kind of any industry. Um, and the demand is, is exceptionally strong for, for our students. Um, we also have a really uh, strong focus on entrepreneurship and for a small program, we have a really, really big footprint in terms of uh, graduating successful entrepreneurs. So you feel free to pause and, and read these profiles. Um, but I'll just mention the top right there. Carl Hansen was a graduate of this program. And up until a couple of years ago, he was actually a professor at UBC and, and taught the fourth year capstone class. Um, and last year, he uh, took his company Absella Republic. Uh, they did some really incredible work um, rapidly discovering um, and creating an antibody therapy for COVID-19 in less than a year. So some really incredible entrepreneurs. Uh, a lot of our students are also interested in pursuing advanced degrees, so going to graduate school. Uh, and again, in a really, really wide range of areas. Some of our students go to medical school, some of them go to law school, but a lot of them will pursue um, you know, applied physics, uh, computational physics, machine learning, AI, um, so really diverse range of things and at leading uh, graduate schools around the world. So just to profile a couple of students, Yu Ching is a recent graduate. She's uh, working on artificial intelligence machine learning at Berkeley. And Brendan Tankwa is a recent graduate, and he's actually a Rhodes Scholar at Oxford, and he is studying um, energy policy. So really at its heart, uh, engineering physics is about engineering and physics, and we really think that's the foundation for it. Uh, invention, entrepreneurship, and discovery. So if you'd like more information, please don't hesitate to check out our website, www.engphys.ubc.ca. And also please make sure you subscribe to our Instagram channel, which is UBC Engineering Physics. I try to post lots of uh, photos and videos of some of the cool work that's going on in the program and, and some of the cool things our students are doing. Thank you.